Oh god, I could not have died or gone down in a more provocative position. I'm gonna wake up without private parts. That's, <laughs> that's what's happening here. What is going on everybody? Riot here just spawning in a fresh little arc world right now to test out two mods that just develop or just just get through. What, what the fuck? I need a what? Kind of at an extreme loss of words. I just figured I'd start a new world to come in here and check out the mods, and now this place is swarmed and glitchy. What the hell? What 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 is even going on right here anymore? Just kill me. Don't let the elements take me. I don't even know what's going on. But anyways, I'm looking at two mods today, which are pretty damn awesome. Um, one of them I've looked at a bazillion times. I don't even know this lag. I just need a fresh start. But um, it's the 19 new dinos mod now. They've added in cobras, which um, are, in all honesty, just exact replicas of Titan Oboas, but with little side things on them, so they look more like cobras. But um, they're just much smaller, and they do much more concentrated poison. If you get bit by one of them, you're fucked. And then this other mod just introduced this thing, which they could not stress was not to, like, have level 1. I just literally just had to clear the files to do You gotta be level 5? What? There we go. It's this thing right here. The temporary transportation. You can only do one per life. That's why I also made another character. But, um, make sure that doesn't excuse anything right there. But they just can't stress it enough how in development it is right now. Like, it's not official at all. But it's, um, it's one of the coolest things ever. It's, it's so, why is this world lagging? Do I have NPC people? Oh shit, I have- okay, okay, it's the total conversion I have working all- okay, that raptor's gonna come over here anyways. So what we're gonna do, you just double click it to place it down, and you turn into a little alien person, and your little- okay, it's coming for us. See, Dad, we're out of here, bitch, suck. <laughs> Look at this thing! That could not have saved my ass any quicker back there, by the way. That worked perfectly. Alright, so here's me now, it's just like this little transportation disc. It's honestly one of the coolest things ever. It doesn't- it's just like the best because it doesn't require any resources to make as of right now so it's just um at, right now it's just a way for when you die to just craft it out of nothing and then fly back to your fly back to your stuff completely fine and untouched i'm pretty sure once you set it down as well it stops um it stops oh it's so it's, it's just a little disc it's just a safe transportation disc it's honestly oh shit i've landed it oh god oh god damn it oh jesus christ he destroyed the cube around me Oh, I thought I died. I forgot I- Okay, so it does break very easily. That- that part was- I can't believe that just happened. That would be so damn scary. Do not press spacebar when you're in that thing unless you're ready to set down for good. Because it just- it just sets down and, um, and then they just shattered the glass all around you. You're eating alive. God damn it! See, now it just feels so much more secure. Okay, there we go. See, that's- that's- this is a good lesson right here. Just goes to show you. Sometimes magical little spacecrafts- it's- it's only magic because it's technology beyond my understanding are outmatched by simple things like giant monkeys that can carry your ass anywhere. This guy's a little too damn fast though. Okay, so now I should have I should have retaliated though with an army of cobras. While I'm showing them off, I might as well put them to the test, but they're mostly like they do the most damage towards humans, I'm pretty sure. Like it's cuz they 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 put you to death. It's not even like a torpor type poison. Okay, so right here is a cobra. Now I have stats on, so it won't do anything to me luckily. But I'll remove that in a second just to test how poisonous this little bastard is. As you can see, it's just basically an exact replica of a Titan Oboa with the little things on it. It's just a retextured Titan Oboa. But, um, that's the thing with the 19 new Dinos mod, which I explain every time, is it's not for people who want, like, brand new original creatures. It's for people who want creatures that are similar to things we already have with minor tweaks and differences that make them resemble another realistic creature. All right, you little shit. Let's see how poisonous he really is. Colonel Schwartz. I'm gonna have to see you on the other side, buddy. This is goodbye. All right, Cobra. Where the hell? Oh my god! That scared the shit out of me. I was still very poisoned from last time, apparently. <laughs> Damn, that's some, that's some potent-ass poison. Okay, it's starting to look like, with that little skull and crossbones in the bottom of my corner, or bottom of my screen, that I'm in fact supposed to be dead. And the only reason I'm still alive is I have stats on right now. Which is crazy because that's usually it's just the dev command. It usually removes um, all poisons and that sort of thing. So this is actually a permanent. Like once you get bit by the cobra, there is literally nothing you could do. I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> all right, and there we go. And we're 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 asleep. Our torpor bar is filling up insanely fast. Will we die once that gets full? All right, there we go. Never mind. It wasn't the kiss of death. I was just you just get severely poisoned. Like, you get an insanely full... Alright, you little bastard. Colonel Schwartz, back me up here, buddy. Smack him in the face. You wanna go? You wanna go? This guy flings poop for a living. Look at the size of those dookies, too. He's such a warrior. A good guy. Alright, get out of here. That's okay, Colonel Schwartz. You do not want to mess with... What the hell's going on around here? I just want to mess with... 
with snakes. You know what? This Karna was about to be a dick anyways. So I'm gonna cover his face in dookie. Where'd they go? Oh my god, the Cobra's right under us. I was like, where'd that Cobra go? Alright, so how much torpor does the Cobra do? So if a pet gets bit, it looks like- Okay, stop it. Stop it. God damn it. I'm trying to measure what one bite does. You bit me three times, and it looks like my torpor is just steady raising. Oh, this is a terrible little- See, the worst thing about the Cobra is he's so damn tiny, he could be hiding anywhere. Okay, our torpor does not see- He's chasing after us, in fact. He's a bit of a douche nozzle. Alright. Okay, this is looking like the worst nightmare ever, actually. I'm really happy this might- I see the little bastard down there coming up at us. And our torpor- That's my inventory, jackass. Come on. It's still going up! Oh my god, it looks like just one bite is a steady raise all the way out to the top. Is this really what happens? Oh my god, one bite! One bite put Colonel Schwartz to sleep! I don't like those stats, man. That is one deadly- God, this monkey looks beat to shit, but that is one- deadly little snake to have in your world that's 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 a very bad thing on the other hand though if you manage to tame one of them that would be a very useful little, oh I would just breed them like rats dude I would have hundreds of them because like, you only need one of them to bite and put them to sleep or put the creature to sleep but they're probably gonna die because they're tiny ass little where did he go oh god one of them shit lag one of them's been released into the ecosystem and now we all have a big problem on our hands Alright, so if I took these two snakes, dude, I have a female and a male right here. That is perfect. The chick is way bigger than his ass, but that is just okay. These things are freaking scary. I don't even care if they just look like Titano bows with things on the side. They are freaking horrifying. I'm just terrified of snakes, so you throw any new snake at me, and I'm going to be newly horrified at it. Alright, guys, I want to go see something right now. I want to see if I could tame a T-Rex with just... You know, let's just take one of you. So that's it. Actually, no, because they could they could die so easily, and then um, and then and then I'll just this 68 health. Yeah, you're gonna want to have a shit ton of these things. Like they're they're 88 health. They're very freaking weak. But again, it only takes one bite. So that's the whole catch. All right, well that's something to take note of. Don't worry about them chasing you because they are the slowest bastards on the planet. I I gotta give it to them though. They're basically giant worms. It's, Dude, we need prehistoric earthworms. I don't know if they were ever that big, but like in King Kong, that those were some crazy shits. That would be, that would be terrifying. All right, guys, get ready. I think first I'll just have them take down the Sarko right here, because those T-Rexes are way faster than these Cobras. So I might have to just go find one and spawn some by it. My guy, of course, is invisible to other creatures right now, so nobody knows what's going on. Get him, Snake. Bite his ass. When's the nibble? When's it hit? Come on. Get in there. He's so close. He's got it prepped. You've you've almost completed your mission, man. You're like literally inches away. What are you doing? Okay. Get him. Get him. Bite him. What the fuck? What are you doing this for? Are they not meant to be tamed? Come on, man. You got him. He's right there. You know you want to. You know you want to. They seem to be total douchebags. What level is this Sarko even? Because he is dying so f level 14. She is dying so fast. Come on. Come on. There, I just spawned in like 10 of them and I'm riling them. How do you bite me? I'm invisible. Wait a sec. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm literally okay. So they, they, they see all. Oh god, I could not have died or gone down in a more provocative position. I'm gonna wake up without private parts. That's, <laughs> that's what's happening here. So you're just not gonna bite him? Is that what's going on here? They're protesting? Oh my god, this would be so damn scary to come across. Like, I'm sorry, but this... This right here would be terrifying. You could just be riding your raptor through, you hit a patch of cobras, and you're both just asleep like nothing. That's like the worst nightmare right there. Okay, since I'm pretty sure I died. Oh, I can only craft this once per life. I did not die, damn it. I want that ship back. Well, that didn't take but five seconds, god damn. I spawned in the warchief, I was like, I don't know who will get me out of here, the warchief, so it's good for that, and he definitely got me out of there. Why won't those damn bugs listen, or those damn bugs, why won't those damn snakes listen to me? Okay, we're about to be in the same position as last time. We're gonna have some dude, right, oh, oh, Fioma, what does a Fioma saddle have to do with that, fuck, what, I'm, uh, what, that confused me. That one threw me a curveball right there, you gotta have a Fioma saddle if you're gonna get this little spaceship. I didn't see that one coming. Get crafting. I know, like, there's no, like, actual threat with this raptor right here, but I like to pretend this is... Did he just run clean across water? 
What the hell? Jesus Raptor? I'm so I'm confused by a Jesus Raptor over here. <laughs> Alright. Your transportation is ready. Look at this. We look like fresh dinner in here. This is just, I feel like it's like from the Jetsons or something. That's the vibe. But yep, and then we get here a little Jetson sound. And it's just, and it doesn't work in water. Okay, that let, let that be a warning to us all right there. <laughs> God, God damn it. What, am I not good enough for you? It's just my ship. Well, that was silly of me. Probably have to go through that again. No, I do not have to go through that again. Sweet. A lesson learned right there. Oh, see, that's the only downside to this thing. Is it's not big enough to put another pet in. They should have smaller or bigger ones that you can try. Oh, I, would, I would just love a giant one of these. I would love for my base. Oh my god, this thing is sick. Look at that. We're like a little pilgrim. We're like one of those toys you get out of one of those little vending machines. Oh yeah, but if there's ever a floating islands mod, or if not a because there is floating islands mods. I mean like a floating base mod where we're just on some sort of hover thing like this. You probably have to keep it relatively small just because um, there'd be tremendous lag. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't get the Jetsons connection earlier. It's because I didn't watch that show growing up that much. But there's even little smoke clouds. Holy shit! Wow, he really does just dominates the area, man. He does not take any shit. The War Chief. That, that's an epic beast right there. How great are mods? Us and our little flying pill capsule looking at... He destroys like a football field's length in five seconds, too. What? Colonel Schwartz! That was a douchebag move. What's this? What's this? What's he get? Four dragons. I seem to recall him having two dragons per two celestial dragons. Now he's got four. This guy's getting more and more shit every month. It's ridiculous. Oh my god! All right. Well, that's. I was. I also kind of had to test what happened when I went by it. It's pretty much what I expected. Just destroyed everything. This map is so damn tiny. I only play on the center. I never play on this like vanilla, and it's like. It's just so damn tiny. You see one creature, you fly around for two minutes, you run into him again. Actually, the center's not that big either now that I think about it. But no, but the center, only like one third of the map is visible from the top. Then there's underground worlds and everything. What the, oh, oh, I thought that was, I thought Satan was over there. Alright, see, these little bastards are what you'd have to watch out for. Look at this, I just got in a good amount. It looks like this is about the biggest size you can expect. I don't know, actually not even, not even close. They'd probably get so much bigger than this, but just on average, this is definitely... But look at this, this little shit right here and that little thing. Those little guys, these point ones, if they were in the grass near your base, he's a point two, but these point ones especially, if they were in the grass near your base, you'd never be able to predict this little thing. And the fact that one bite puts anything to sleep, that is just terrifying. They're cobras, man, they're so freaking toxic, it's, it's just... It's just crazy. It doesn't even look like they could they could be tamed and do your bidding either. They're just douchebags. At least they're very slow, but it's not like that even makes a difference. Because the fear is not them chasing you. The fear is accidentally stepping on one of them. And then dying. See, what are you going to do? I told you to bite him. I told you to bite. You don't even... You don't even... You look at them slithering up to us. They look like the freaking worms from Dreamcatcher. Ew. See, they just can't attack. They follow perfectly. They stay on their ass. They, they're willing. They want to kill him, but they just can't do it. Look at these sh damn sharks. What the hell? Freaking bastards. It's just little babies over here. Man, no, they're, they're probably full-grown adults, and they're terrifying. And I actually fully approve of them dying, but just not when I have them tamed. I love this little mobile toilet thing we have now. <laughs> if only there was a way for a latch to open up under us so we could, so we could let turds out. I would, I would really never need to leave this thing. Alright, well, I'm pretty much going to wrap up today's episode here. I, th I hope this was some, like, informational, awesome content for you guys out there. I only like to break line with a uh, survival series day if it's, like, stuff I feel I need to show off. And even though these are just retextured Titano boas, I feel like Cobras would definitely spice up a lot of Arc Worlds. As with this little magical device, which literally gives you no advantage. It's just, like, the most stylish way to fly around, and you only get one per life anyways. I know you could just go kill yourself easy, but it's still, I don't know. I don't think it makes the game any hard or any easier. It definitely makes it a little... <laughs> definitely definitely makes it a lot easier, but like in a fun way. Look at this guy. I'm just the snake charmer. Oh, this is this might be my worst nightmare right here if the if the glass ever broke. But um, but yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more. The, the mods are in the description below, and um, have a nice day, guys. Peace!